One of my favorite offenses to study this past offseason were the Jacksonville Jaguars. Let's take a look at how Doug Peterson likes to run his offense. So let's start with their run game. So they do a lot of different things, just like any NFL team. You're probably going to find any scheme at some point in their season. But consistently, they really liked duo and some inside zone variations. So let's start there and take a look at those plays. So here's their first example of duo versus the Cowboys. And so they're going to be running duo here. So they're going to base here. These two are going to combo to this linebacker. These two are going to combo to this linebacker. And these guys are trying to cut off to create that seam. The running back's actually going to kind of take a counter jab step before he attacks here. Attacks the line of scrimmage and he's reading the fill of this backer right here to decide where he's going to cut. So there's the counter step. You can see great double teams by the offensive line. He presses the line and the, the backer fills and he finds a crease and gets up to the secondary. So here's an example of duo from the gun. So we're going to get the same blocking scheme, just a little bit different presentation with the formation and how they insert it. So this tackle is going to base there. We're going to get a double up to 48 there. We're going to get a double up to 58 there. This tight end is trying to cut off if he can. If not, just get a block on him. And then he's trying to kick and seal so we can have a seam here in this D-gap area right here. The other thing that's key is we're going to get a receiver. He kind of comes in and cracks, and he's going to get that safety. So they have a hat for a hat. So again, good hip-to-hip -hip blocks from the offensive line, great double teams. The tight end is getting good movement in the C-gap, and there's a really huge seam for the running back to hit. But the safety does come in and try to fill, so that receiver coming in to crack is an important part of this scheme. Not a devastating block, but it's just enough to create that seam. And it's off to the races for a touchdown. Here's another inside run, and I initially thought this was duo as well, but the more I broke it down, I realized it was inside zone. So they're going to start with motion here, so we're going to get some misdirection to try to draw some guys away from the play. And then what gives away inside zone is this guy is going to zone his gap there. So here we're gonna get him there. We're gonna get a double team up to the backer from these two, a double team up to the backer from these two, and then we're gonna get base blocks out here. The running back is going to press the line of scrimmage and then he's gonna find a crease out here and get loose. So there's your motion. You can see that motion makes 44 take a false step. It also holds that backside safety. Running back does a good job of pressing, and then he finds the crease. So to help protect their inside runs, they really like to use the fly sweep. There were some instances of some pin and pull and some outside zone. For the most part, they like to set their offense up with these fly sweeps. So let's break those down. Fly sweeps are a great way to create misdirection and protect your inside or outside runs the other way. So you're gonna see these a lot. So this guy is gonna be your sweep guy. He's gonna motion behind and get the ball. Now the Jags are a little bit different. A lot of teams will zone the other way. So they'll zone this way, like the Rams. They zone away from the play. The Jags actually zone to the play. So this guy's gonna come get the ball and then these guys are all reaching and running this way. You're going to get a receiver coming here to crack to kind of set that edge to allow this guy to have a chance to get over the top. They do still, after handing it off, they do have the run fake going this way. Just maybe they can hold these guys here on their pursuit. So here he comes. They give it quick. That crack block gets just enough. And he's able to get around the edge and get the first down. So here we're going to get another fly sweep. This time, the left tackle and left guard are actually going to zone away from the play to kind of bl block for that fake. Hopefully, it holds this guy enough where he can't pursue the backside. Everybody else is still zoning to their gap here. You've got a guy here. 
He's going to chip, but this guy decides to go inside, so he knows this is hitting quick enough where as long as he slows him down, he can then release, and he can be another blocker. So there's the give. You can see he stabs. He can't make the play. Now we're off on the perimeter. He's able to find a crease and pick up another first down. Along with the fly sweep, they love their reverses, and they had many different variations. So let's take a look at a couple big ones that they hit. So they're going to be reversing to the weak side of the formation um, down here. They're going to set up a zone-type look here to the field. And so these guys are all zoning. This guy kind of throttles, and then he's able to come back to kind of lead. So it's going to look like a zone play here. They're going to slip this guy where he can come be an extra blocker. He helps slow down the end. And then they're going to come around here for the reverse. So Lawrence stumbles a little bit, but it kind of sets up like toss. So he tosses it there, but they get it on the reverse. Got some lead blockers. And they get a big play. This time they're going to set up the reverse to the strong side of the play. So they're going to run it here down to this three receiver side. Another different variation here is usually you're banking on the misdirection, getting the defense in the wrong position, and you're not going to have the numbers at the point of attack. This way, the way that the Jags block this, they actually get numbers to the point of attack. So they're going to make it look like kind of a counter trap play. So all these guys are going to initially block down, and this guy's going to pull and kick out. What they're able to do is this guard is able to get out. The center chips the nose for a second, and then he gets out, and his tackle is uncovered. So he kind of blocks down for a second, and he's able to get out as well. The tight end blocks down for a second, and he reverses. So you can see they have the formation of a wall here for that reverse. So the running back is going to look like counter here. He's going to follow his guard, and this guy is going to come around with a convoy of blockers. So right here, the defense looks a lot like counter. So you should be flowing opposite. And then he gets the ball. Great block there by number seven to spring this. And now you got linemen and receivers getting blocks downfield. Now let's take a look at their passing game. They ran a lot of different combinations, but it was easy to see really quickly that they love the three level flood concept. So let's take a deeper look of how they like to execute that play. So I just love how they give the same play a lot of different looks, but it's always the same picture for the quarterback. So you're always gonna get some sort of deep, deep route here. Could be a post, could be a post corner, shake route, fade, but something that's gonna hit deep. You're gonna get some kind of deep out, usually a 10 to 12 yard sail and then something underneath, and that comes from a lot of different places. It can come from the back, it could come from another receiver, it could be a three by one, but then you're gonna get a third route here. And then on the back side, you're always gonna get some sort of dig, and then again, an underneath route somewhere in this. That could come from a drag, that could come from the back, check dragging or check releasing. It could come from a receiver already there running some sort of route. But it doesn't really matter because the quarterback's getting the same picture. They're getting a, a three-level flood here, and they're getting a high-low on the backside. So no matter the combination, the quarterback's getting the same look. And I love when offenses do that, and I highly recommend you do that with your offense as well. So this example in particular, they're in a condensed set here. So you're going to first get, this guy's going to burst here and then come back out on a shake route. So there's the deep route this tight end here is our sale guy. They're gonna get a quick play action and then he's gonna release and that is going to be our shallow route to that side. This guy here is on our dig and this guy here is going to be our low route on the back side. He runs just kind of a throttled out to find grass. So getting a quick fake to try to draw the linebackers in that helps clear space for the out route. Great timing, even the cornerback sees it, but because Trevor Lawrence gets it out right on time, they're able to complete that and pick up the first down. Here's the next example, still some subtle differences, but you're gonna get to the same concept. 
So they're gonna start with motion here and he's gonna motion across to give him a two by two look. Now instead of a post corner or shake route, this guy's just gonna burst to a fade. But again, it's gonna end up in the exact same spot a post corner would anyways. This guy right here is going to become your sail or, or deep out. Now here's a subtle difference. So instead of the back being the shallow route here, this receiver that motioned is gonna come on a shallow drag and he'll be the check down to the flood side instead of the back. The back is going to fake and then after he checks, nobody blitzes, he's gonna drag this way. So you get kind of a, a mesh concept between the back and that receiver. And then this number one receiver here to the bottom is going to be your dig. So again, even though they change who's responsible for what, the picture for the quarterback, you've still got your three level flood here with your high low on the back side. So there's the motion. He's just gonna use that to come back. So there's your burst fade. You can see that corner opens his hips. So Trevor Lawrence should know now that out route is gonna be open. Great timing, perfect ball. They pick up another first down. And there you have it, a deeper look at the Jags offense. I hope to see you next time as we continue to break down the best offenses around the NFL.